sure that everyone can come and enjoy their favorite format, the best format, the best casual format in the game or in Cube. We are about to go down to our feature match, our backup match from round number five. We're actually going to be joining in the middle of game number two. And we have some pretty well known players here Sam Black on the left side of your screen, up against J Bro himself, John Brosoff. It looks like Sam Black is ahead after winning game one as well. Got a lot of lamb, got oh field of the dead in the spread. <laughs> okay, I mean, this is, <laughs> you know there's a rule where you have to keep all your lands in the back and creatures in the front. It doesn't yes. matter here. Yeah, they're all lands. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. It looks like uh, John ended up with that marionette master. And just made some servos. And it's kind of the only thing going on here. We see Sam Black doing some counting. There are a number of utility lands in the spread. We have Shifting right. Woodlands, mm -hmm. and we have Volrath Stronghold. Both okay. of them some nice graveyard things. Okay, Shifting Woodland, that can become a copy, I think, of any permanent, I think, actually, in your yes. graveyard. Yeah, provided you have Delirium, which, you know, look at all those cards. That's got to be. Just at some point, you just got to assume. Sam Black's got kind of a land combo deck, and... Mm. What's the combo here? Well, I said kind of. <laughs> <laughs> so you see Lumrid and you see... Just nothing you say stands up to any scrutiny. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, you see an exiled iridescent Fine Lasher. So that's the combo. Okay. Vine Lasher plus like Lumra and other ways to get a bunch of lands into play. Both the Vine Lasher is exiled. And as you can see, many of Sam's lands are already on the battlefield. Mm. A lot of decks, they're really happy to have access to this much mana. Right. Seems uh, out of a pretty important resource at this point. Mm, okay. So what are, what's his path to victory from here? That's a great question. And I think that Sam is noodling that himself. That, that's fair. I mean, the brain of Sam Black is a thing to behold. Yes. Actually, I do have to say, like, one of, you know, when I first started playing Magic, one of the first things I did was watch Pro Tour coverage, right? I didn't know anything about the game. I barely knew how lands worked and I just watched three months of Pro Tour coverage. And uh, one of the my favorite things was watching Sam Black draft this like five color legends deck in Dominaria draft. And it was just so cool. Like I'd never seen anything like it. It was actually really one of the things that made me fall in love with Limited. So great to see Sam here. Great to see uh, Sam playing against John, of course, without John, KubeCon would certainly not be possible. Mm -hmm. And um, looks like Sam is getting some stuff going. Not abundantly clear what happened there. I think it was Stronghold, this farmer to the top of the deck, and then just cast it. Okay. Mm. Or, uh, Which farmer is this? That's a great question. It's a four mana green card from. Um, oh, Bristlebud Farmer. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. 5 5 with Trample. When it enters the battlefield, make two foods. And when it attacks, you can sack a food to mill three cards and put a permanent from among them in your hand. So it's like a tortoise. And here's Savine's Reclamation getting back Grist <sighs> and Scavenger's Talent. That is a sweet Savine's Reclamation. So the first level on talent, you know, whenever a creature dies, you get a food token once per turn. Mm -hmm. That's whatever. The plan for Sam is to get that up to level three and get even more recursion in the graveyard. Okay. Also, at level two, you start milling. You know, uh, a lot of Sam's deck is exhausted. Right. Like, how much milling can Sam really do? If any player, you can mill your opponent. Okay. So that's probably the plan. Okay. Well, Grist, you have to mill yourself. Factual. Mm, yes. And Sam does do so, makes an insect, puts a death fight shaman in the graveyard. Back over to Brostoff and see what he's got going on. Yeah, you know, I was talking earlier about uh, Sam being at a lot of relevant resources. Volrath Stronghold is kind of an inexhaustible resource of the creatures in your deck. Right. So it's a little tough to run out when you have access to that one. I mean, sure, but then what? You know, like how are you gonna actually? How are you gonna actually win, win the game? I I believe that the scavenger's talent represents a lot of inev inevitability. Okay. Also, in conjunction with the bristle barred farmer and those foods, you can gain life. The talent itself generates more foods. You get okay. that to level two, you still start milling Brostov. How many times do you need to mill for two against a 40 card deck? You know, Brostov probably doesn't have mo much more than 20 cards left at this right. point. 
I mean, just a peek at his graveyard, you can kind of maybe get a little bit of rewind into what's happened here. I see a damnation hanging out there, so that must have done some stuff at some point. I think uh, we see a Gonti, Lord of Luxury, on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. Taking something from Sam with that. Psychic frog. Oh, look at that thumbs up from Sam. <laughs> yeah, whatever, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. It's not turn two anymore, John. <laughs> Maybe he's just showing appreciation for psychic frog. I don't think that's it. Good card. Thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, John. Yeah, I would have put that in my deck too. Wow. <laughs> this is a very uncharitable interpretation <laughs> of, <laughs> of Sam Black. <laughs> Well, we all go back over to Sam's turn. And uh, is it going to be Walrus Stronghold again? You know, it's pretty hard to make an argument against it. <laughs> if you have anything that's solid, you know, you just got to get to the point where you have a creature in your graveyard that's above the average draw in your deck. Ooh. And there's not that much deck left over. That's a great where's the boundary line. Solid yeah. and ephemeral. <laughs> <laughs> Which I assume is the only other option. <laughs> yeah, you won't be recurring anything ephemeral. <laughs> is it Death Red Shaman? And, you know, with this many cards, Sam's already been through this many cards. Well, Rest Stronghold is also just insurance. Sam's not getting milled. Can well, always just put one right back on top. That's true. That's true. Okay, here we go. Shifting woodland. That's gonna become something. What's got what's Sam got going on here? Leveling the talent. It's milling. Oh, time. I see. Okay, okay. Animating the woodland. Down goes Gonti. How many cards does Rostov even have in hand? Just one, it looks like? Looks like one, yeah. Okay. The uh, milling is beginning. No. Rostov's going to line up the blocks here. That 5-5 five five does have trample. It is at nine lives. So it is getting a bit precarious. It has to double block it. Pitch a card to pitch a card to put a counter on the psychic frog, and Sam's gonna just kill one of them. Frog goes down. Things looked good for Sam before this attack, hmm. <laughs> and these these blocks are pretty desperate. Yeah, I wonder what's in. Like we've seen Damnation already, so that's the reset. Yeah. There's also the question of what that Gaunty card is. Mm. Is that the card that's exiled to the right, do we think? Yeah, the top there next to that blue die. Okay. Okay, what was it? Come on, Jaber. I believe that Jaber is out here as winning game three. Hey, many great Magic players have won game three. That's that's just true. <laughs> Factual. <laughs> well, actually, I think this is game two, and Sam already won a game, so that's not an out. Oh yeah. So actually, you have to win games three, four, and five, and have previously established a best of five competition. Okay, that seems like a tall order. That's really difficult from this position. Mm. You got yeah. to start that one a little while back. <laughs> Expert analysis from Ryan Overton. <laughs> well, Rath Stronghold's going to keep, keep doing its thing. In perpetuity. That's a card, again, you don't run out. You do not run out. Okay, what's going on here? A little trick binding. A little trick binding. That is going to do it. Sam Black going to advance to the finals over John Burst of J-Bro himself. And uh, Sam's deck also looks really sweet. Yes. Really sweet. No surprises there. No surprises there. And we've got 
a really cool finals lined up for you. Sam Black against Caleb Dowd. I mean, I think, you know, at the beginning of this cube, if you asked, if you asked people like who they would want to see or whose decks they would want to see in the finals, like I think that matchup would be up there. Yeah, that's in the responses. Gotta so. be one of the top voted dream matches. Right. And again, you know, we talked about how Durward's deck is so heavy on synergies. And mm. we saw a different mana ramp there in the hands of Balan that had Primeval Titan, but just put lands that tap for mana on the battlefield. Right. Sam Black has Shifting Woodland. Mm. He has Volrath Stronghold. And, like, there's some ways to get extra lands on the battlefield. That's fine. But the lands do stuff. Mm. Sam Black has Field of the Dead. This stuff all matters. Gives you yeah. a lot of inevitability. It's going to matter less against Durward, but I'm excited to see how it shakes out. Yeah, me too. All right, we are going to go away for a quick break. When we come back, we are bringing you the finals of the Cheese Sands alone. Is it going to be Caleb Durward with... A red, black, only cult anvil, or is it going to be Sam Black with a Field of the Dead? Find out after this. Hey. 